Welcome to the View Input Mass tutorial. Using the SyncFusion View Input Mask component, you can mask and validate numeric values in standard input fields. You can let users enter data like phone numbers, dates, credit card numbers, and other standard format values. In this video, I will show you how to add the input mask component to a view app. I will also demonstrate how to bind value, validate the input, set a custom mask and regular expression, and add a prompt character. I will start the view application creation process using the view v command. Make sure you have installed the latest versions of Vue and Node.js. I'll use Visual Studio Code as my editor and show the output in the Chrome browser. To create a project in Vue, open Visual Studio Code and type the npm create v at latest command. I name the app my Vue app. Next, choose Vue as the framework and JavaScript as the variant. A Vue project is created. I navigate to the newly created Vue app and install the required dependencies using the npm install command. Now, the application is configured with the default settings of a V project. To use the input mask component, I type the command npm install at syncfusion slash ej2view inputs hyphen hyphen save to install the package and its dependencies. Next, I must register the trial license key to use Syncfusion components. I open the main JS file and import the register license method from the Syncfusion EJ2 base package. Using this method, I register the trial license key. For instructions on how to generate a trial key, refer to the link in this video's description. To add the input mask component, I open the app view file and remove the default code. Then I import the mask text box component from the Syncfusion view inputs package. To access the CSS styles of the input mask component, in the style tag, I import the material theme CSS references. Here I am going to display the input mask component with a label mobile number and a placeholder value, enter a 10 digit number. For that, inside the template section I add the division element with the class wrapper. Inside this, I include the EJS mask text box tag. Next, I am going to add a label here. So, let me add a division element with a class label. Then I set the label as mobile number. I will also define the property placeholder with the value enter a 10 digit number, which will be displayed as a hint in the input mask component. After that, I will define the CSS styles to align the division elements. So I define the text align, margin bottom, width, and font weight styles for the wrapper and label classes. I say the changes and run the application using the npm run dev command. Here the input mask component renders with the short description enter a 10 digit number. To start validating user input, I need to use the mask property. So I remove the placeholder property from the input mask component to show you the standard mask values using the mask property. Now I add the mask property and assign the standard mask element, which allows users to enter a single digit number ranging from 0 to 9. You can see that I can enter numbers between 0 and 9. Next, I will show you how to bind value to the mask text box. I add the value property and assign a 9 digit number value. 
Now the input mask component displays the given 9 digit number value. Now I will show you how to set custom mask elements. For clarity, I remove the value property. I define the custom characters object with the key fields P and M because I am going to display a time value. I assign this object to the custom characters property. Also, I change the mask property value to the time value. To display the placeholder text first, let me remove the division element that holds the mobile number label text and add the placeholder property with the text value. See, I can enter the time value based on the custom mask set to it. Next, I will show you how to set a regular expression. But before I set the regular expression, let me remove the custom characters property and set the float label type property to show the label above the field while typing the value and providing a value of auto to the float label type property. Here, to get a four digit pin number, I set an appropriate regular expression for this mass property. Along with this, I changed a placeholder text to enter the pin code. Here you can see the component, and I can enter a pin code. I am allowed to enter only numerical digits. Now I will show you how to add prompt characters to the mask elements. I want to add a hash character to the mask elements. I set the prompt character property with the value hash. Now the prompt character hash is shown in the input mask component. Finally, I'll demonstrate the process of two-way binding in the input mask component using the vModel directive. Two-way binding ensures that updating the value in one input mask component automatically updates the value in the other input mask component. I add another EJS mask text box tag inside the template section. Then I define a reference named value and initialize it to null using views ref function. Next, I assign this value reference to both input mask components using the vModel directive. Now, when I type a value into one input mask, the other input mask will automatically update, reflecting the same value. In this video, I have shown you how to add the Syncfusion View Input Mask component to a view application. I also showed you how to bind value, validate the input, set a custom mask and regular expression, and add a prompt character. If you want to try out the example used in this video, you can download it from the GitHub link in this video's description. I have also shared a link in the description where you can learn about obtaining a free license key to use our view components through our community license if you are eligible. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel.